Hey guys, it's Collider News and Josh Sweden. He's not doing Batgirl. He's going to HBO for a new series. We're going to break it down now. Ms. Perry Nemiroff joining me at the news desk, and we have the Hollywood Reporter reporting that Joss Whedon has made a deal with HBO to write, direct, create The Nevers, which is a sci-fi tale about Victorian women with superpowers. Okay. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> that is, no, that a is right, A gang of Victorian yeah. women who find themselves with unusual abilities. So, okay, maybe not superpowers, but unusual abilities. So we got the X-Men, the X-Women of Victorian England, Victorian ages. We are just getting this news. Perry Nemiroff, what do you think? There's something interesting about it. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, I, I am a, I'm a fan of some of his shows, but I'm not someone who's sitting here like, give me another Joss show. I liked Buffy. I'm not obsessed with Buffy. Right. But in this case, also because everything, whether you're talking about TV or film right now, like there are so many super powered individuals on screen at this point. So part of me is like, all right, pump the brakes here. But the idea of applying that to the Victorian era yeah. is a little different. And also I'm, I'm kind of honing in on the use of the term develop powers. Mm. I like the idea of seeing a character develop powers because, you know, that to me, it's almost like a Spider-Man quality where, you know, he gets bit and then you see what he does after he realizes he has these abilities. And that kind of puts you in the character headspace a little more and lets you identify with them. So the idea of going back to a Victorian period and being part of this, this group that is developing powers intrigues me. It intrigues me as well. I get shades of what you said there with Spider-Man or, or something happening some kind of thing that happens that makes them get these powers or helps them get these powers. Mm-hmm. We've had meteors land and people get powers. We've had radioactive spiders. We've had oil, uh, uh, radioactive spills, Daredevil, I think about. Um, we have mutant powers. We have so many things that he can mine. We don't know what that yeah. is yet, but I do like the idea of, yeah, setting it Victorian times. And you have women in, in that age, especially, I can see Whedon yeah. because... Uh, I'm with you. I'm not a Buffy fan. Uh, I was a huge Firefly fan, and I, of course, enjoyed his Avengers movies um, and Serenity. His, that that movie mm-hmm. was great. Um, so I, I understand where he's going with this. I could see women that are in their their you know their bustles well, and they're like I tied and they started a picture. Right? Did you ever see Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? Yes, I did. Exactly. Uh, the movie is a little rough around the edges, but right. j- just that visual is very exciting. Right, and I think the visuals I can see Whedon's sensibilities. He does love to write women. This is something I think he can sink his teeth into. Now, whether you're a, a Whedon fan or not, that remains to be seen. Whether this series will hit the mark. What I find interesting, and I want your thoughts on this, Perry, is that it was a competitive situation yeah. here behind the scenes. Netflix really wanted this series, and so did HBO. HBO ended up winning. Joss Whedon, to paraphrase, said he's very excited that HBO is the one, that they get him, that they get what he's trying to do, and that they are the masters of the cinematic, long-form storytelling that we've seen with Game of Thrones and whatnot. What do you make of that now? Now that Netflix has beaten HBO with the Emmys, We have uh, ourselves a good old-fashioned rivalry happening now between HBO and Netflix. It's an interesting time, and I feel like we've uh, we've talked about this quite a bit in the film realm, and a little less so when it comes to TV, but... HBO, I, the pressure is on them right now, especially with the Emmy nomination count. You've got so many services like Netflix on the rise mm-hmm. where they are just delivering a ton of content. And I know there might be a quality versus quantity issue mm-hmm. here, but still they do have some quality there because look at all the nominations they got. And we also had that that recent report that uh, HBO might be looking to up the amount of content it is giving out and give more time slots to shows like this. So I think this is a sure sign that they are doing that. And, you know, when it goes to something like a bidding war, I mean, that's another reason to have faith in a project. If more networks and companies want it, there's got to be a reason for that. So it's just interesting seeing how HBO is uh, reacting to Netflix right now with 
with upping the amount of uh, content it's delivering because you know we got Watchmen, we have that J.J. Abrams show. Right. It just seems like a lot of the a lot of the stuff that they're making has a, a fantastical quality to it, and maybe that's a, a result of how successful Game of Thrones is for them. I think it is. I think everything you said is right on. We're putting it out there to you guys now. We have HBO making a new series, The Nevers, with Joss Whedon, Victorian women with. Abilities yet to be determined. Netflix, hey, everybody's bidding for these things. And the consumers like us, we win. We get a lot of good quality entertainment coming our way. What do you think of this one with Joss Whedon heading up the Nevers? Are you excited? Drop in those comments. Let us know. Like and share this video. We want everybody talking. We want to take the temperature of this, the Nevers. What do we want? What do we get? We don't know. Subscribe to Collider Video. That's Perry. I'm Riley. See you next time.